agent. Helena Novak, apartment 104, and Hannah Nader, apartment 106. Both on the same floor. Sneak up on me, you know. Need to get out. Yeah. I must have taken a wrong turn. These hallways all look the same. Hallway. Public. Office. Authorized personnel only. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh, yeah? Back during war, took one alive, sent for one. Now, few you to get into his head. If you're worried I'm gonna snap, don't be. They don't even let us carry guns anymore. <laughs> Not worried, past worry. Past most things. Yes. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. <clears throat> Borrowed through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. All the... The implants. Bad. The implants. I take it, Rudy is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone. Don't lose it. What? Mm. Wonders of. Sometimes. I need to. track. manually. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. What can you tell me about the tenant in apartment seven? Tenant. Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah. Maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, tin man. Let me know if it comes back to you. All right. I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Uh, uh -huh. uh, assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty. 
Huh. Bad. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Huh, name? Janus. Like a Roman god. <laughs> you know. Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janus. Yes. Sinker scene injected. Strain level decreased. Dan Alazarski, KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? When can we go out, Daddy? Shh. Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern, though. You sound very calm. You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Base, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Clean of... oh. You're immaculates. Children of the Immaculate Birth, yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I hope. Well, I've never been called to a crime scene where one of your kind was involved. That's good enough for me. Our kind? I see. Do you take offense to our way of life, Officer Lazarski? No, but it must be hard on the whole family. No one said life would be easy. Well, I'd have to say, no mods of any kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? 
Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say there are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable. But it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a big fan of implants. But I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe we are what we make ourselves. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but our church has a support group for the penitent unclean. Perhaps you'd like to attend a meeting? Sounds like a hoot and a half. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, well, once you get past the name, you'll find a lot of compassion and understanding there. Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well, they're just misguided. Godspeed, Officer Lazarski. Mr. KPD, need to ask you some questions. Oh, and who's your friend? Friend? It's just me, ma'am. Oh, I have to go now. Alrighty. Miss Nader, I'm with the KPD. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Mrs. Excuse me? Mrs. Nader. All right. 
Mrs. Nader. What do you want? Have you made any calls in the last hour? No, I have not. Could you check your compass for connections? Somebody may have used it as a proxy. I don't have a compass. Ma'am, is everything all right in there? Are you in some kind of danger? You tell me, officer. I heard the alarms go off. Are the cleaners on their way? Are any of us safe? The lockdown seems to be a malfunction. I don't think we're looking at an outbreak here. Well, I'm sure the other tenants will be glad to hear that. But not you? No, officer. Not me. If you don't mind my asking, do you live alone? Yes, I do mind, and yes, I live alone. No spouse or daughter? Didn't you hear me? I said it was just me. Then why did you insist on being called Mrs? I'm a widow. My wife died many years ago, in the plague. Sorry to hear that. Is that why you don't have any implants? Yes. Want to see the scar tissue on my face and neck? It's quite an embroidery. The little monsters really outdid themselves. Or do I have to show you what's left of my arm? Would that satisfy your curiosity? Mrs. Nader, I'm just doing my job. Oh, yes, I've heard that one before. When the cleaners took my Laura away, one of them turned to me and said precisely that. I never saw her again. Not even the body. It's like she never existed. With all due respect, ma'am, you're not the only one who lost someone to the fake tyrant. But they're an easy target. Is this when you tell me how we're all to blame? That's not what I... That we brought it upon ourselves. Ma'am. That we deserved the phage? Deserved to see our loved ones die? Didn't we? We jumped at the opportunity to meddle with our bodies, but we didn't ask ourselves what the price would be. Very inspiring, officer. And very hypocritical. Spare me the lecture. I will not be judged by some corporate goon. I wish you a good night. So long, Mrs. Nader. Helena, no packages. KPD? Anyone in there? Can you repeat that? Put a cop button. What do you want? You notice there's been a lockdown. Lockdown? You got the fucking the fucking thing here. I didn't quite catch that. Just stay in your apartment.
Hey, you! I can hear you out there. Help me, please. What's wrong, sir? Oh, I heard this awful noise. What's going on? There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? No. Oh, God, please, not today. Well, what's so special about today? I was scheduled to undergo a, a medical procedure. It's a private matter. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it. Suit yourself. Are you okay? Sounds like you're in pain. Well, it's fine. I'm just... I got a, a condition. I'm, I'm waiting to have it fixed. Anything I can do? <laughs> sure. If you're an expert in corrective surgery. Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything in over 40 years. Ah, that's your condition. I... I, I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait, I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate, heavy breathing, angry, not hiding, hunting. Hmm, anything else? The smell, it seemed uh, oddly familiar, reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? Yes. My family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. Hmm. KPD. I'd like to ask you some questions. Certainly, officer. Always glad to do my civic duty. You seem pretty laid back. You do not do about it, is there? I mean, I'm sure the authorities are handling the situation as we speak. Come to think of it, isn't that why you're here? Um, sure. Well, there you go. Nothing to worry about then. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Seen or heard anything suspicious lately? Neighbors acting weird. Actually, I did hear some noises coming from 104. Then the woman stormed out of the apartment and ran off. What kind of noises, sir? Screaming, breaking stuff. I, I didn't think much of it. I mean, those two are always at each other's throats. You mean these people get violent with each other? Well, I'm not sure about violence. Mostly just arguing, I guess. Today was worse than usual. That's probably why she ran out. Did you see where she went? Well, no, I didn't actually see her. I could smell her, you see. Smell her? Don't tell me you can't. That cheap crap she pours over herself, the entire hallway reeks of it. She probably thinks it makes her seem ladylike. I see. I got it. Thanks for your help. I could hear her panting, too. Moaning like the whore she is. You did, huh? Yeah, biggest fucking cock tease you've ever seen. Always toying with me, bending over when reaching for the lock. All naked underneath her clothes. She knows I'm watching, too. She likes to make me itch, cooped up with that junky meathead. I mean, what does he have that I don't? They're all like that, you know? Fucking mongoloid bitch. Now, I hope she gets what she fucking deserves, so that she knows she's fucked up. She'll have no choice but to come to me, begging. But it'll be too late, you hear me? Too late! Okay. How about you shut the fuck up? Well, that was certainly uncalled for. Good day to you, officer. KPD, I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? 
Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, the couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than all ran off. Then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop. But judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see the husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just... messed up. Then again, ain't we all? What about the girl? Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping in shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect, I guess. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealing? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I doubt he's the goddamn postman. Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but, eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. <laughs> That's new. Anyone here? Fresh. <laughs> 